What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Dub Did It, and I'm back, sorta. I still don't have a computer, but I went ahead and I rigged some stuff together with my phone and a Chromebox and a what? It, I got it set up so I could do a recording. All right, that's what I've done. So, um, Jesus, man, I feel like I covered just about everything when it comes to the whole game, man. The uh, number one question of getting in the comments lately has to do with how much water to use all right so let me go and let me just touch on that real quick right quick right quick the amount of water doesn't necessarily matter at the beginning because look you got to look at it like this the water is just a container for the reaction between the baking soda and the other stuff to react with the heat that water keeps it in place kind of and gives it an uh what do you call it an environment to bounce around and heat up and do what it do you know what i mean because it's not going to work in in thin air because in thin air it's just well not going to work probably just burn you know what i mean but the water gives it a place to thrive i guess you know what i mean the cup is basically the uh the pirate glass is like your house right and the water is like the stove. You know what I mean? So even though this that doesn't make any sense, but the the amount of water doesn't necessarily matter. It's basically as long as your concoction of baking soda and kinko has room to mix around and float up to the top. You know what I mean? I usually recommend putting in uh, filling up the, the pirate's glass halfway. I uh, doesn't if you're not doing too much now if you're doing a whole bunch at the same time obviously you need to put more right so then you might need to move up to a bigger pyrex glass if that's the case you know like I said halfway should be good if not a little more but you don't want to put too much in there where it boils over you know what I mean and if you're doing that much at the same time well then you're gonna have to find a, a customized glass jar or, or, or something that's not gonna crack in the heat or you may have to move to the stove top method but I just hated doing it god I hated doing it so I guess maybe that's why some people um, tend to do it all at once you know what I mean and uh, of course when it comes to whipping the work that is going to depend on how much, basically how much oil you get back, right? Because uh, when you whip it, right, you want to make sure that you don't have too much water in there. Because if you have too much water in there, it's going to come out crumbs. It's just going to be loose and all over the place, all right? But you want enough water in there that's going to add the weight and, and, you know, give you that extra that you're looking for. So basically oh man I, I i couldn't even tell you guys i mean it's you're gonna have to look at it you know what i mean basically you just barely want any extra water and just think just think of it like this the amount of water that's left in there is gonna be added to the weight right so let's say you're cooking up 10 right let's say you're doing 10 right and you know you have like 40 of water in there you know that's not gonna work you understand what I'm saying? And when I say 40, I mean grams. G R A M S. So you know, you, you try that. It's gonna. It's just not gonna come out too good. And and that's what I mean by just very little water. Just very little water. That's all it takes. Because when you whip it, it's gonna catch that water, and it's gonna have air bubbles in there, and 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 and. and, and we're gonna add that shit up. That's why I tell you just very little water because I mean once once that water actually catches very quickly is the weight gonna add up. And also if you have too much water in there, too many air bubbles, that's when you get that Swiss cheese looking shit. You know what I mean? And, and if you don't know what I mean by Swiss cheese, it's whenever you cut it and there's all these holes inside of it. And I don't know if you ever seen the uh when you, when, you, when you cut it sometimes there's little colorful bubbles of water in there alright I know I, I've seen it 
but that is for people using too much dish soap you use too much dish soap well that's what happens <laughs> and uh i guess i don't know i, I guess they, they can taste it whenever they do it but fuck it man i don't know anyways guys so yeah that's that's what's up with the water if you need a more in-depth tutorial you already know what's up with the patreon you can hit me up there um man you know shout out to all my patreon folk y'all y'all cool as hell this month i haven't had any new patreons though so that's a good thing because it means maybe everybody's already figuring it out from the videos you know what i mean but uh hell i mean don't feel like you have to sign up for patreon just to get information you know the patreon helps me by helping me get my internet paid and i'm in need of a new computer guys sign up for my patreon <laughs> i'm kidding man. i'm sorry I'm, I'm i'm truly excited to be back ladies and gentlemen truly excited and uh what i wanted to do was uh i wanted to go through my comments because I've been getting in fights online with people. And uh, the first thing they do obviously is attack me from the channel. And uh, I wanted to post or discuss or react to the stupid and funny comments that I get. But this video ran a little bit longer than I thought it would. But uh, that's definitely something that I'm going to work on. Because guess what? I got a freaking microphone hooked up to a semi-computer. Right, what does that mean? It's party time, dog. You know what I'm talking about? I'm fucking with you guys. But uh anyways, man, on a serious note, much love to all of y'all that's tuning in, watching, commenting, liking, supporting to the Patreon. By the way, I got a new cash app, it's uh the Cook White Tea. I think that's it. I don't wanna give y'all the wrong one, y'all send somebody else some money. Uh well whatever it is, I'll I'll um I will go ahead and I will put it in the comments or the uh, description. I always say that, but I never do. Okay, it's money sign the cook. That's T H E C O O K capital Y capital T. All right, the cook Y T. If you want to just support the cause, you know what I mean. But uh, that's that, ladies and gentlemen. Dub out. Shit, I can't click the stop button. What the fuck?